Students are caught in the middle of a chaotic battle over the future of Highland Park schools. Tonight, at the same time, teachers face a payless payday. 7 Action News reporter Glenda Lewis tells us emotions boiled over at a school board meeting where members had to make a decision. In an effort to expedite the hearing and appeal process. The vote came just minutes after the Highland Park schools meeting began. And that's why we need an E.M. That's right. I'm tired of this corruption. Right. After a ruling that caused Highland Park School's first emergency manager to step aside, the board agreed to waive its rights to an appeal or a hearing if an emergency financial manager is again appointed to take over the school district, essentially letting one walk back in. We felt it was the thing to do. No sense in dragging it out. Let the governor's office, whomever, expedite matters as they see fit. And your disrespect for the citizens and the children. You have killed Highland Park School District. Right. It's cutthroat. Now I'm cutting at your throat because y'all done cut my kids. Then in walks State Senator Burt Johnson with a message that mixed up the crowd. Giving over into their hands is not the thing to do. Well, I'm not going to say that that's the last help and that's the last hope. In fact, uh, this was a policy that was crafted by one party in Lansing. But w what happened today uh, in Lansing with respect to legislation passing, passing in acts, a new act that will allow them to be paid, they'll probably be, probably be paid by Tuesday. And when the heat died down, it was this kind of warmth that left the biggest impression. I'll be there, check or not. There were people here from Flint, Pontiac, Detroit, standing with the people of Highland Park, sharing their feelings about a state takeover. There are still petitions out against an emergency financial manager law that are set to be reviewed next week. But as far as Highland Park is concerned, we'll have to wait and see what happens. In Highland Park, I'm Glenda Lewis, 7 Action News.